it is in this that the teacher of God must trust and that is having offered love only love can be received this is what is really meant by the statement that the one responsibility of the miracle worker is to accept the atonement for himself footnote 69 from text chapter 2 section 8 the sole responsibility of the miracle wor worker is to accept atonement himself as interpreted above this means that the miracle worker need do no more than accept atonement because once he accepts it he can give it and once he gives it it will be received the teacher of God is a miracle worker because he gives the gifts he has received yet he must first accept them he need do no more nor is there more that he could do by accepting healing he can give it if he doubts this let him remember who gave the gift and who received it? Footnote 70. The one who gave and received the gift is God. Given by God to God who in this holy exchange can receive less than everything. And that was from section 6. It is also the Holy Spirit. It is he, the Holy Spirit, who accepts the gift for himself, and it is the Holy Spirit in the mind of the giver who gives the gift to him. The full picture, then, is that it is God via the Holy Spirit. So, who gave the gift and who received it? If he doubts this, let him remember who gave the gift and who received it. Thus is his doubt corrected. He thought the gifts of God could be withdrawn. That was a mistake, but hardly one to stay with. And so, the teacher of God can only recognize it for what it is and let it be corrected for him. Paragraph 4. One of the more difficult temptations to recognize is that to doubt a healing because of the appearance of continuing symptoms is a mistake in the form of lack of trust. As such, it is, it is an attack, 71. The rest of the above paragraph offers the logical argument for why doubt is an attack. To love, there must also be trust. Doubt is lack of trust. Doubt, therefore, excludes love. With love excluded, the opposite is present. The opposite of love is to hate, and hate is an attack. Doubt, therefore, is an attack. To put, it, to put this in more normal terms, if I don't trust you to properly receive the gift I am giving, isn't that an attack? So if I don't trust you to properly receive the gift I'm giving you, isn't that an attack? Usually it seems to be just the opposite. It does appear unreasonable at first to be told that continued concern is attack. It is all the appearance of love, yet love without trust is impossible, and doubt and trust cannot coexist. And hate must be the opposite of love regardless of the form it takes. Doubt not the gift, and it is impossible, and it is impossible to doubt its result. This is the certainty that gives God's teachers the power to be miracle workers, for they have put their trust in Him. And I will stop there. On section 7, Should Healing Work Be Repeated? Out of the Manual for Teachers, Volume 3 of A Course in Miracles. Thank you for joining with me today. I love you. Have a beautiful day.